Hello and welcome back to Darkwood, but this time Alpha 8, which released just yesterday, actually, and I missed it yesterday, otherwise I probably would have done video recording just then, because I've been waiting a little while to record Darkwood again, because, well, I don't know, I really like this game, I guess, and I'd gotten, I hadn't really done anything with Alpha 7-1, which I guess I played through 7-1, as this says, never through 7-2, because they didn't really change anything that I felt really affected anything, but this time around, I think I will go ahead, so, changes for chapter 8, I don't know, I'll put a link in the description to the their blog post update, and possibly the Steam site news, I'll just use their blog, um, where they detail everything that's gone in, but the biggest thing is that there's now a chapter 2, as we can tell when we try to load up this profile here, and it tells us that if we do that, we're going to start with a set of default items and choices, um, if you load this profile, so I think I actually want to go ahead and start a new profile, probably let's just obliterate this off of 6 play, well, you know what, no, I'm just going to make a new one, easier that way, I'm going to keep it on normal, because... No. Um, mm, do we want to skip the prologue? I'm going to play through the prologue again as well, I guess. Uh, but yeah, there's been a few changes to chapter one, apparently, and I don't want default choices or whatever. I kind of want to make my own choices and have them impact, even if they would end up being the same choices or whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm going to hit this play button, which means that we will all get to wait for a while as it generates the world. So, but yes, I want to go ahead and play through one, because I'll get to see anything that they changed since 7.1, which includes stuff from 7.2, as well as anything in 8 explicitly. I'm obviously most excited to get to uh, Chapter 2. Um, although they did insinuate on the, well, they didn't really insinuate it, they just mentioned that the epilogue will be done after full release, which makes it sound like there's only going to really be chapters 1, 2, and an epilogue. Which, you know, game development is hard and everything, but I'm a little bit disappointed. I kind of wanted, hoped that there would be more steps in the story, but I guess I'll have to, I will, you know, I will withhold sort of forming my final opinion on that, ooh, until we actually play through chapter two and see how I feel about it. Because it could totally be that that is a completely fine place to end. And we get a little prologue text now. I mean, the text down there we've we've always gotten, but the the prologue pop-up is new. As if I were the one responsible for spreading the plague. Ah, uh, yes. Good old doctor. I still don't totally understand your character. As if I was the source of all the plagues in this land. I don't have anywhere to hide, nowhere to run. The woods have devoured all the exits. Is that? I don't know if he phrased it that way before. I am stuck with them. I want to check something. Ah, sorry about that. Um, I had thought that I had maybe set up recording wrong, but nope, looks like it's fine. So, off I go. Alright, pills. The notepad. Alright, this is the same as always. I know these notes by heart, I don't want to read them now. Good. Does my name this now be to suicide? And am I? There's like f very quiet distant sounds. A homemade device for making moonshine. A chair that makes all the squeaky noises ever. Yep. Oh, the old jalopy. Select which objects are only within reach. The generator is almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken down tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. Okay. I, I think I'm actually getting confused about... Hmm? Cages. This time they're empty. I'm still not totally sure what happens when they're not empty. Like, what does he put in here? I'd rather not open it. It's been too much time to lock him in there. Potato room. 
I used to store some stuff here, but it jammed a long time ago. Are there places in the world where people actually have little trapdoors for storage like that? Like, not just that someone has a house where that's the case, but where that's a, you know, normal... Oh, my tools that have been sterilized for years. It wouldn't make a difference for the locals anyway. Interesting. Good old Doc key. I've only just woken up. There's been radio silence for years, although sometimes I can hear voices among the noise. I'm sure you can. Bunch of crap that I will not be able to use. Oh, the front door key. Okay, so I was supposed to be exploring anyway. I'm just sort of exploring because it's what I do. Medical book. Oh, I think this is... I don't remember this. I'll have to look back at my old videos and see if this was there. Maybe I just missed it. Okay. Yedja Lekarska. I don't know what that is. Some kind of... Well, okay, hold on. I'm not paying enough attention here. This is... He's looking at skin disease stuff, which makes sense. Um, Polish is all blurred out, so I couldn't read it, even if I could actually read it. Like, actually read Polish. Which I think is a nice touch. Doesn't really matter what it contains. I like how the shoes are storage. That's great. Um, I am... Mm, I think I was making the wardrobe. Okay, fine. Use key. Good. That all still works the same way as always. 125p. It was once a luxury, now it's a useless heap of trash. Some time ago, every road leading here was devoured by the woods. Wooden doll. A large humanoid doyle with a cut-out face. It's missing its face, huh? That's just weird. Okay. <laughs> There's no useful item in the grave, because, you know, that's normal. It's a normal place to search. Uh, I do vaguely... It hasn't been the case in the previous alphas, at least, but I kind of vaguely wish that... Well, I don't know, I'm getting mixed feelings about that. I was about to say that I wish that if you picked up items in here, they wouldn't be available for you yourself later, because, well, at this point, I'm not really going to worry much about spoilers, because they've already done three different video series at this point, and if you want sort of a spoiler-free intro, then I'm sorry, but it's too hard for me to do that. Um my dog, I don't think he's going to make it, I should end his suffering, but we are going to come back here later and I wish that that the choice of items you've picked up now would affect that later path some no because right now it always seems like he doesn't, and I say I was about to say that because in practice, if you think about it, it doesn't really make sense that he would just sort of Th there's no sense for how long it's been from now until you come here again. So it doesn't really make sense for all that stuff to just still be there. It kind of makes more sense that it's maybe shuffled around at least, or he's used some of it. Uh, but it's st I still think it would be nice that at least some of the items, it would be the case that uh, he wouldn't, you know, he would move them or there would be more items here or something if you come back later because he would have just shuffled around, like the rope, for example. I, that's one that totally makes sense for that to be there when you come the next time, and that would be a really cool continuity thing, I think. Right, I need to equip axe to kill the thing that is a tree trunk. Does this work? Where did I bind that? Okay, I think that's... I've changed control schemes a couple of times, and I don't really remember. Okay. Cool. Increase grows too fast. So that's a neat detail that I didn't remember. I won't be able to keep coming on that one too much, much longer. The trees, like, if the trees are growing fast enough for that, they're growing abnormally fast. And I guess that's implied by the trees devouring the paths or whatever. I guess I never quite put that together. Mm. Mm. I don't think it's going to get any better for you, bub. I'm going to go ahead and euthanize you for once. Just for fun. Not really for fun. Fear. Actually, it's out of fear. 
A bear trap, a bear trap. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. I can pick up a bone, because why not? So, so far, there are a few details that I've forgotten. Plus, that's such a run. I love when games prompt you to do that, especially horror games. Just like, this is how you run. You should know that right now. The map is. There's a. Oh, I remember when this used to be not a real map. Let's have devoured all the roads to the outside world. No one able, was able to slip through this thicket. Mm. Fallen tree. Is there anything around it? I don't think so. Crate. Plank. Yeah, press low. Okay, so that was teaching you to left shift and click, which is good. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Let's craft a torch. Crafting menu, torch. Okay, you get a bottle from the alcohol. No, I don't want another one. Damn it. Whatever. Close enough. It's not. I'm not super worried about particular items that I have right now. Why is that? Why is that prompt still up there? It does not seem appropriate. Abandoned house. I like how the light goes out when he puts it in. It's a good, good touch. This is the abandoned house. This hunk of stuff. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm hearing noises in that direction. It scares me. I am out of things. Uh, I don't know, this bone is probably pretty useless. Shut up, trees. Nobody loves you. So if I, if I press tab, will it go? Okay. I guess the prompt got stuck. Somehow. Mmm, yes, I remember you. We've got the fast-growing trees, some clothes. Why are they just... Mm. In a few days it will be completely absorbed. Whatever. That's just habit at this point. So, it's like the tree took over this house. I can, I can repair it the doorway for some reason. Dogged man, half breed. I still don't completely understand why this happens, even after several playthroughs. Like, what it really means. I'm sure it's some old. It might be some kind of older European, you know, magic practice. Oh man, you sound like you. You look like you did not have a good time. I do too. Out the woods. These must. This must be it. And I am out of inventory space, but it doesn't matter. Does that mean that he didn't actually take the inventory? He's unconscious. I've never seen him before. All he has with him is this key and a journal. He got in the woods somehow. He must know how to get out. Of course, he will willingly tell me anything. But this, however, doesn't really matter. I need to get out of this wretched forest. I like toothbrush. You hear me, you rat? <laughs> Show me and I will let you go. Sometimes I can hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where is it? 
show me where it is. It's not in good health if that takes it out of it. Wow, that's quite the punch. I will kill you like a dog if I have to. Yep, I remember this. They introduced this in Alpha 7. And I think it's pretty cool because it establishes that there's more... Th like... Doctor knows something about him up front because he's like, "Show me, I will. I'm not willing to kill you." And I, it's unlike, fucker, still my key. And also that you are not the best person. Went to a small cellar, probably for storing food. I would need to make a lockpick. Okay. Clothes, wire thing. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself, like one does. Lockpick. Oh right, I canceled out of it. Barricade is too strong to dismantle. He'll never give that excuse again. Flashlight and shovel. Come here, shovel. That fucker stole my key. I know, I know. The key is important, but. and I thought it would very sturdy oak table like I can use it as a weapon. That's different. I don't remember that. Oh yeah, but and I can right click to turn the flashlight on and off and I think that's also it's empty. It is. You're good at this kind of thing. I remember this as well. Yeah. Hello. Corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open. I can hear a distorted voice. Barely distinguishable from the radio static. Turn on the generator. Turn on the generator. Does he... He's plugged into it. He's plugged into the generator? Is that the implication here? That's kind of what it looks like. Refill... Okay, so this is teaching you how to... How to, uh. How to do this. I think I get to keep this anyway, so I'm just gonna use all of it. Uh, the UI is definitely smoother than it used to be, which I think is neat. Alright, now what? There's a room down here, and I don't know why I can't see it. Please 
please let me out. Okay, we'll let you out. Stuck. This is... I don't remember this at all, actually. Ah, good. Good, good. Alright. Nope. You stay back there. Door will protect me. Ow. So this actually functions as a combat tutorial. That's pretty clever. I played Darkwood now that I think about it. I like these little transition screens. They're pretty cool. And slow. And kill frame rate for some reason, but that's okay. Mm, Alright. Pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a weird, although well known to me, scent. It's the smell of the protective gas which provides me safety during the night. The fumes are distributed all over the house with long pipes. If I stay inside my hideout, I should have a chance of surviving. Examine the oven. When I came here a few days ago, the oven was pretty much ready to operate. I just needed to light it up and make it work. It, I'm, it must have been one of our hideouts. The locals don't have need to inhale this shit. <laughs> uh. So that's interesting. Why do the locals not need to inhale it to survive the night? Mm -hmm. Look at the weird bottle. There's an instruction manual on the bottle. The probability of death when staying outside of the vicinity of the protective gas after nightfall is 99 out of 100. It is advised to uniformly spread the gas inside closed environments. Alright. Warning. The gas does not provide full safety during the night. One should keep the indoor, well lit areas to minimize risk. Look inside the pot. That looks gross. A small empty pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. Although I catch myself thinking about those mushrooms, the red pulsating ones. They look so juicy and delicious. Maybe I will find a use for the pot after all. Which pot? This one? That one that one might be fine. Whatever this is, I oh, no. No. Okay, this is our upgrading interface, and I can't do any of it right now, but whatever. It's saving, apparently. Okay, I don't think I've ever had Hideout 1. I've had. Ooh, here we go. Mushrooms. The pulsating ones that I apparently find delicious and really appetizing. Okay. I will get back to you. I probably... D I'm, I've already forgotten most of the strategy that I used for this game. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. Okay. So this is like guiding us along what we should be doing. That's good. Less, uh... 
Let's guess work. You're in the hideout under the influence of the protective gas. It will help you survive the night. I don't have a watch, so I don't know what time it is. Uh, uh, no. This is bad. Oh, God. Looks like the night was uneventful, huh? <sighs> I have to wait until this little meter goes away. Well, I got something out of it. It's slightly less safe environment. Oh, uses of the mushroom in the household booth. Jibov. It's, yeah, it's an interesting word for mushroom. I wonder what the origins really are, if they're really uniquely Polish or whatever. Mm -hmm. Good old hideout one. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, yeah. Generator's almost out of gasoline, but still enough to last another night. I better can find a gasoline can in the underground entrance. Which we have on our map. Okay. So we have... We have a few days worth of freebie, basically. Oh, corpse. Wait. That looks like... Oh, well, whatever. I doubt. It looks kind of like a, him. But not really. I don't know. It's probably just coincidence, maybe. I don't know what to believe about this game in general, so... Alright, so I should barricade some windows, I guess. Or, or no, we can cook. That's right. We have some mushrooms. Right? Should we can cook these? This is slightly different from how I remember it. Ten essences in the lot, but at our current state, it's a perfectly fine amount of juice to inject straight into the bloodstream, I guess. Like one does with mushrooms. Uh, but yeah. Let's... Mm, come here. There we go. Can I make... Can I do this? I don't have any boards. Can I get boards? Hey, no boards. No wood. No wood, no boards. So if I want to barricade stuff, container... I don't... I think we still don't get code for this, it's just like, good luck, try it randomly. Unless I've just not really paying paid any attention. Maybe one day it'll be a thing we can do? Or maybe that's part of the epilogue? I don't really know. I, saw, I heard a dog somewhere. That's not good news. It's not good news at all. Avoid the mushrooms, because they hurt poisonous mushrooms, see? They're not the tasty kind. Those are the poisonous kind. Tastes decidedly worse. Stone? I have no idea. That's new. That's a new item. More stone. I hope it has a function and isn't just to fill up my inventory, make things even worse. Rabbit! Let's try this. Can, can I throw the stones? Are they like. Do they serve as basically primitive weapons? Can I pick it back up again? Yeah... I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> like, on the one hand, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> One-time use rock does not make sense. <laughs> on the other hand, if I just had... I mean, well, I guess that would be one way to balance it. Because um, in the heat of battle, if you're going to throw these around, you can't really just use a lot of them, so maybe if you could just find fewer of them, it would sort of balance out in the long run. Alright, so I now have... well, but I don't have any gas, do I? This is, this is, this is the struggle of no, like playing a game as it's changing. I know what I should be doing, and I know... What was that? I heard something. Was it just his breathing? I hope it was his breathing. Ooh! Do we still have a... Does this do anything now? Or is it just rope dispenser? Wait. Oh, I can, I can still repair it. What does that do for me? Anyway. I'm just going to deposit all the wood. I will keep the rocks on me because they are useful on my person. 
Um, but yeah, I still, I still, I think this look under the trees leaves mechanic is is really clever because it sort of simulates the. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not wasting my rocks on you. It simulates the whole. Uh, you know, you you throw rocks at stuff. Or, what am I? I'm getting confused. It simulates the that it's a little bit. You know, you gotta look around for stuff, focus on it, to see things. It's a neat and immersive thought, and this is a clever way to express it. At least I think so. Uh. Ooh. I, hmm? Wood logs. Great! Wooden bear traps. I mean, it's all I want out of life. Anyway. Just wooden bear traps. I want gas really badly. But I don't really. Ooh! What? What? No, don't make me waste my things. Oh! Go away. Shoo! Shoo! They don't like rocks. That's good. I like that. I'm good. I'm okay with that. Useless tractor. Probably kill it if I could get it to run over some. Uh, <laughs> there's one in there. It's not good. It's not good at all. There are multiple entrances now, or maybe there have always been multiple entrances. Yeah, you you stay over there. I really want. What's this? This looks like stuff. Burned houses! Stuff! I have found stuff. Go away! I don't want to waste everything on you. Shoo. Don't repair the door. Aha! Plank! Excellent! All that I've ever wanted. But yes. Um, on a side note, I think for this this time, because uh, the last time I recorded, I thought it'd be interesting to try and record one video per day. Um, but well, I mean, I don't know. When I look at the actual watches, there's a lot fewer watches than my earlier videos. That's probably in part just because, you know, there's a lot of dark wood videos out there and mine aren't anything special. Go away. Bad dog. No, I'm not not wasting this on you. I just want the rope. Fine. You know what? Fuck it. Give me the rope. I can't carry the rope. I'm leaving now. Sorry. Sorry. I need a weapon if I want to go in there, don't I? I can make the torch now. It's actually kind of a bad idea. Uh. Yeah. Nope. Mm. Dogs, you hurt. Oh god. Nope. I'm leaving you behind. I'm okay not being around you. I hear birds that usually signal nightfall. Now I have some gas, which I think first order of business is actually, I'm going to follow the road back home, is actually to make uh, a weapon so that I can do stuff like explore the burned houses and everything, and I, I really don't remember what the right strategy is for this. I used to have it down to, to a science, like do this thing, do that thing, it's fine. And it's not because the game has changed this time, it's just been a while since I've last played. But yeah, anyway, I recorded per day because I thought that would be neat because you you know there's a natural breaking point in the game, but videos didn't do too well, which I don't really mind because I don't really monetize these things anyway. But when I 
went back and watched through pieces of them. Oh, it has some gas in it. Well, damn it. Whatever. They call the planks. In rage. In a rage fit. Just fuck planks everywhere. Alright, we have a little bit of time now. Um, we are in the protective gas. I, I remember you used to have to turn it on. Did that change? Is it, is it now automatic? Like, your first your first time you went into the... Oh, I'll go ahead and cook it now, yeah. The first time you went into the, um... Um... I don't know. I, I always like to... Mm, I think I'm just gonna focus on this, and maybe spend some resources to board up this. Well, I don't want to board up any of the, the windows, actually, so I'm going to board up... Mm, how many planks do I have? I have plenty of planks. I'll board up these two as well, because that is a lot of planks, let me tell you. Although I will probably go ahead and eat a health item. Yeah, I have enough to fix the well, too. We can find out what that is. But... That not anyway, back to the thing. The the breaking point didn't really work out, I don't think. Like I would be in the middle of pursuing a quest and then the video would end and you'd have to wait some period of time until I got back to it, because I don't also don't release regularly very well. And so this time I figure I'm gonna do what I did the earlier times, because I think the videos turn out just more natural, where I'm just gonna record me doing whatever it is that I... Chain trap. That's new. There's some new shit in here. That's great. I gotta explore this. That's a, what is this? Gas bottle with flammable gas. Oh, you can now use rotten stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that. That that makes it less, um, you know, just completely waste of time. Uh, it means that there is something you can do about it. You can do with it. Which is cool. I like that. Oh shit, generator. Right, right, right. Damn it. Damn it. This is dangerous, but I think first couple of nights it's not quite so dangerous. Yes, this is fine. And my lights in the house just turned off too. So yeah, I think it Right now I might just do prologue in day one, because there's not really a whole lot... We're not in the middle of a quest or anything, and it's already been a while. It's probably been more than enough for a good hour or so. I don't really know how long it's been. But, yeah. Can we board you up? No. Alright, well, I guess this is what we have. Reposition the lamps either, because I forgot about that. So I guess we're staying in here, where it's technically not that safe. I'm genuinely afraid, but it's also partly because I'm about to die. That was a waste, but whatever. I should make some bandages. That is the best use for that, for these guys right now. I have this now, that's good. That's a quest item, so I'm just going to stash that here, probably. Heard noise. Nope. Hmm? I'm gonna try not to drag stuff around because I think it makes noise that attracts them. I know that you can make noise to attract them. So, I think dragging stuff does it. Even lamps. Hopefully they have uh, kept it like it's been in the past where the first couple of nights are essentially uneventful. Maybe I'll get a villager. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. Way more than I should. I'm gonna go hang out near this light. It makes me feel vaguely safe. Chain trap. I kind of want to make one. Air trap? Okay, so there's no description, which makes me upset. But let's try it. It's it's cheaper, and the bear trap is more expensive. Well, I think it's I think it's always been far, but now we have this cheaper thing. It's kind of the 
the same, but not. I don't know. Let's go into this room. This room is probably the safest room. Oh, nope. Let's not stand over there. Stand over here. This is fine. I could do this. I kind of want to put one over here. Because we can't, we can't move the bed anymore, right? Yeah. So, but I want to move this out of here first. So I'm just going to... Mm, come on. I'm just going to do that. Hi, outside. Please don't kill me. Oh, no. Please tell me no. Please tell me no. What was... I don't have a light source, do I? is not fun at all. Not fun. What's that mean? What does music mean? Is it good? It sounds like it might be good. Does it mean the end of the night? Is it zooming out a little bit? I don't know. Oh, it's daytime. No. What? Why is everything red? Oh. What? That was really dramatic. Hey, you. Go turn off my generator before I talk to you. That was terrifying. <laughs> it just <laughs> it was the music beat. Why is everything turning red? Oh my god. Oh, it's daytime. I thought it might be, but I didn't really I'll be honest, and I just didn't really expect it to be, so I was kinda glad that it was. Because the redness has meant has meant not great things in the past before as well. So anyway, let's talk to Wolfman. I remember you though. I can smell your stench from afar. I'd be glad I do not have an appetite for carcasses meat. The figure hides his face under a hood. Instincts of wet ground and fur. I know what you're after, meat. I can help you with getting back the thing you lost. If you help me, what do you say, comrade? He leans towards me. I hear a quiet giggle from under the hood. I knew this would interest you. Before we make a deal, I will need you to prove to me you are capable of doing your assignment. I don't want you to waste my time on weaklings. You understand me, yes? Your first job will be to get... to get from the dry meadow to the silent forest. You think that's going to be easy? I would take a few days to get ready if I were you. When you get there, you will find me here. Remember this place. Wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. He's got an AK-47 and a wolf head. And they stopped... Hmm. Is that later? I, I remember that there was a line about his tail ruffling under his coat, but I think that might be later. Okay, so the weird thing I got earlier apparently does not exist. I can trade alcohol. He sells them at twice the price as well. Here's some... What's the thing that we both have? Plank? Do you sell plank? No. Let's sell this, though. That'd be nice. I should probably make use of my reputation with him at some point, because I... <laughs> he will take my stones. That's good. And he's got the, the red chicken egg. 
That's also good, because I think he's like a wolf or fox. And these, those, those like chickens, from what I hear. I partially used torch. Okay, well, if I wanted anything from you, it would be this thing. Which I think I might buy from you, because it's something, like, I don't... I'm gonna refrain for now, because I know we're gonna meet you later. And I know that we have... We have a mission to find gasoline in the underground passage or whatever, which may have changed since I since I've last been to been there. Um, I'm hoping that I do actually get some gas there somehow though. So I don't think I will need gas here because I think tomorrow or I guess today, gossip. If you want to live a bit longer meat, you'd be wise not to venture too far from here. Only a few of those who went to the dense woods have made it back alive, and none of them were able to tell their happy stories. <laughs> He's so happy about that. Taking a stroll through the woods after dusk means certain death meat. Stay in your hideout after dusk and Pray for the morning light. Oh, I already do. I know that. I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you. At least until you get some better weapons. Like your AK? Oh, and this grayed out now. That's cool. So I've exhausted the gossip. This is neat. This is a UX improvement. I'm, I'm down for that. Should I be trading something with you? Or is this just saying that there are things? I have something you will trade. Anyway. I, I still like it, I, and that show item has nothing to do, rather than me randomly checking. If you want to see my pretty face again before heading to the Silent Forest, I'll be waiting in my camp in the Dry Meadow, Wolf Point store location on my map. Alright, so now we have his camp here, and there, and we have a mission, and we have some stuff we've seen, including the underground entrance. We have a goal for the following day. I'm gonna do a little bit of inventory management. I was about to say, why is this open? And it's because I walked out it. Um, rope. I'm gonna... Is there anything I can craft with rope right now? Okay. That and that. That's it. Okay, so I will leave this around for whenever I find some upgrade items. Wait, the workshop has... I'm being done. Yeah, okay. I'd forgotten that this was a thing, because I still remember back in, like, Alpha's 4 or 5 or whatever, where wardrobes were where you kept shit, and that was that. So I'm, yeah, it really just, and now it makes sense to just leave everything in here. That's right. It doesn't make sense to carry around spare planks. It makes sense to carry, like, build a spare one of these and carry it around, but I don't know that it really makes sense to keep this around. Well, no, it does, at night at least, so you can repair stuff. But I would rather just swap that out during the night. I think I've mentioned in some previous video that I don't like to do that. But it's been a long time, and now it seems like maybe I should just do that instead of being stupid. I do want to lay down that chain trap somewhere. Uh, I don't think I have a use for you yet. Not that I'm aware of, at least. I'm going to put you in a wardrobe, though, because that's where you belong. I'm going to keep the rocks here. I'm going to put this down somewhere. This is a health item. Uh, I don't think I want to carry around the torch either. Maybe? I don't know. I, I think I'll carry around the torch because I think we might need it in the underground thing. But can we make... We can make torches on demand, right? If we have the supplies. Which I don't. I have... Oh, okay, so that's what matches are for. Alright, I'll keep the matches on me for now, then. Uh, and... what else do I need? I need to get some rags. We might find some, though. Anyway, that's crafting... I'm gonna stash that away. I have some... of that. You can go away. And... yeah. So... Uh, I usually come in and out from here, so I can board up the front entrance, too. Ah, uh, did I miss anything? I don't... I don't think so. Oh, we can... we can make one of these, but I don't think we're quite... where... things are not dangerous enough for that to really be... worth it. Okay, so I turn off the generator, good, and I don't have anything else left to do. 
All right, well, I think I think that's it for day one then, and this video, because I don't. I, I think that wraps up nicely. Uh, we have a goal tomorrow or today. Today we're I'm gonna make for the underground entrance. Hopefully there will be uh, some rags there that I can use to make the torch that I need to navigate it. Or if that fails, we'll go to the burn houses, because I have the plank now, and maybe explore the field, but I think one of the chompers there is awake for some reason, which means that it will probably kill us, but that's okay. Maybe. Uh, anyway, we have plenty to do, and I will do it all in the next video. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.